All right, guys, it's Anthony with Super Service. Let me try to move this stuff. All right, we got Joe's truck here. Uh, this is this is one of our trucks here. Right now, what we've got, initially we had no issues. Okay, now what we've got is uh, then remote start was put on. We had a remote start put on, and then the truck would only start about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, so from 3 o'clock, if you try went out, try to start it early in the morning, it would not start. So, uh, shit. So we sent it off, had the remote start taken off. Found all kinds of crap under the dash of this stuff. Right now, I'm finishing the removal of the remote start system. Uh, I didn't put the remote start on. There was another shop that did it. They wrapped wires up and did just, I mean, this wire, these wires down here and, and uh, the brake wire right there. Uh, the one thing they, yeah, I don't know. But whatever, that's besides the point. Now what we've got, we did have a windshield put in it. Um, not really liking this staining going on right here in the headliner. We had a windshield put in it. It's looking like the windshield is leaking, possibly. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and have the windshield done again, have them check it. Uh, right now it does not start when it rains. So what I was gonna do was get everything exposed down here where I can watch under here. Uh, shut the hood and just physically spray the freaking truck with water and watch for where any leaks are. But in order to do that, the da the sunroof is also broke. These glides right here. Now, I don't know about you guys. Now, me personally, I have yet to rebuild this sunroof before. So we can get these glides. They're special order. We already ordered both of the glides. We're going to see if we can do that. If not, this... Uh, this whole assembly, the track assembly, is like 700 some odd freaking dollars for the whole track assembly. Uh, that sucks. Jesus freaking Christ. So hopefully I can figure out this plastic freaking parts and all this crap here and uh, get this damn thing to work. So, yeah. That's what we're going to do. So now until I get the sunroof fixed, because the sunroof basically, you, was, you drive down the road and you would hear constant air. Because these the the freaking tracks were broken, so you would hear nothing but air. Just it, it was annoying as shit. So it's like either seal up the damn sunroof, which come on now, really, or fix it. You know. So hopefully the little hundred dollars worth of glides will fix it. Um, but until then, I gotta just I'm just gonna let it sit in here. I mean, I really don't care. I mean, it's it's got to be fixed. It's yeah. So and I don't like these cows either being broke. I think we might have to uh, order some cows for it. Go ahead and just put new ones on it. Hell with it. Uh, there was this cellular antenna. Looks fairly expensive. Was under the freaking carpet. So I went ahead and stripped that all the way out. Uh, I did fix the lights. The lights weren't working. Um, yep. It's actually got subwoofers and all kinds of crap in here. But, so now um, I'm gonna tackle a little bit at a time hopefully get the sunroof fixed and then we can chase down this water. Uh, maybe have the sunroof while the sunroof is waiting. We'll also have a, have a windshield done while it's in the shop here. Get that done, order the new cowl. I mean, we're just gonna have to spend a little money here to uh, chase down what the hell is going on with uh, 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 this water. Cause it's water. I mean, I bet you, I guess I could try it. Well, yeah, let's see. Um, hang on just a second. Let's go ahead and this truck has been just hell. It's here because, well, the last time it actually started every time for a week after the remote, remote start was removed, it was all good. It kept starting, firing up, firing up. Let's see, it is all the way cold. Here we go, ready? Fired right up, son of a bitch. All right, so now let's look at this. And I'll show you that it is cold here. It is cold, 73 degrees. Battery volts are low. The Fickham was flashing. We'll have to test that later. But when it was not starting, we had no uh, checker pulse with it. It was throwing cam faults. But that was with the remote start. So we have not seen that issue since the remote start, and I have not seen it not start yet. 
but I also haven't let it sit in the rain for two days. So we're gonna have to uh, just find out what's wrong. But once again, it fired up, fired up all good. So let's, uh, we're just gonna have to, I don't know. I'm just gonna chisel away at all the little issues. We This was a purple wave. We, bought, we kind of all bought this truck together, all purple wave. And uh, yeah, this is Joe's truck. So, you know, it's kind of my fault, damn it. I picked this truck. There ain't nothing wrong with this truck. I like it. It's, it's a hunting truck, you know? It's a farm truck. Man, it's a good farm truck. But we just got to get all this bullshit figured out because, you know, ain't nothing like going out to your truck and the damn thing not starting. I can kiss my ass. And then when, it, when you take it to the shop, it starts every freaking time. Freaking figures. But there we go. Uh, I thought I'd show the sunroof. That kind of sucks. Uh, this is going to be kind of... I've, I've tightened them. I've played with them before just tightening up the screws some of them are loose adjusting the panel you know stuff like that but when it comes to taking the plastic pieces off i mean hopefully i'm just gonna have to do it you know i've, I've i'm gonna read up on the service manual and i just don't know you know those little finicky parts it's like model airplanes and stuff up there with all those little plastic pieces and stuff i don't know anybody got any freaking i don't give a shit i mean it'll be my first day doing sunroof repair but if we have to replace the track headliner comes down which ain't so big of a deal maybe what i ought to do is have the windshield guy come and yank the windshield out and leave it out leave the windshield out for a day and then i'll go ahead and take the headliner and get it the hell out of the truck because you can take that i mean i could do it with the back window but I might as well have him come cut the windshield out and then leave i'll go ahead and drop the headliner and pull it out the windshield then i can work without having the headliner inside the truck That'd be nice. Oh, well. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, just on another video. Oh, yeah, Cole quit. Our guy quit, so. Uh, yep. What do you expect? I mean, kids, whatever. Oh, well, we'll be fine. We got another, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have another guy here. Actually, we kind of, uh, he came today, so. That'll work, but Joe's truck here freaking sucks. Doesn't start when it rains. Tell him to move to Florida then, huh? <laughs> no, not really. Wait, it rains there every day. Shit. All right, guys, that's it. All right, have a good day.